Hi everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce you is the Optimus Samurai Blade. And uh, if you know about, if you want to know more about uh, maybe every button from the uh, Samurai Blade, please refer to the uh, to the Ninja 2 because this review I will only just talking about like what's the different or the special and then on the blade only. So okay, so this is the Ninja and then I just uh, put it on to the blade and then you will see the size is just slightly maybe bigger than the Ninja. And also the maybe um, the main difference in between each other is the connections. The Ninja 2, the connections is the HDMI and then the blade is the uh, SDI uh, input. And uh, other than the size and the connections, the main difference in between each other is the resolutions. Because um, the um, blade is using the IPS monitor and then the resolution is uh, 1240 times 720. So that means the resolution is much, much higher than the uh, Ninja 2. Uh, and then the advantage is when you're doing the focus or maybe you want to see the shots and then it's actually more detailed and more sharp than the, uh, than the Ninja 2. So, uh, other than that, there is another two functions which I want to mention and it's special for the, uh, for the Blade. First one is the uh, video monitoring functions. First, you will see this is a slightly different maybe a, a, a format than the Ninja. It just like, look like maybe it's just jump, already jumped into the menu functions. So for this one, you will see this is the uh, video assist function which is uh, the same as Ninja. I will not talk about that. And then mainly is this button. This button is a video monitoring functions. So they will offering you, for example, like the histogram, the RGB, and also the vector scope. So the vector scope is giving you an idea, maybe whether you have like any color shift on the uh, on the shots, and then RGB is talking about the levels of your colors, and then and then also the uh, histogram is give you the overall exposure on uh, on your shots. So other than that, you can also set, for example, like the size of uh, maybe uh, the uh, the monitoring. So for example, now I just like put on the whole stuff under the uh, the, the monitor, or even I can just like make the whole things just just like maybe uh, on the whole screen like this because sometimes maybe you are using the monitor on the camcorder to using as a monitor and then maybe you want to use this uh, um, the blade as a, just like a, a bigger like maybe a, a histogram mon so for example but for me I think it's more makes sense to just like get maybe the shots into this um, Small size with the with the uh, with the shots in the blade. So other than the monitoring functions, the other thing uh, I want to mention about is the uh, audio. So if you're talking about the audio, you will find out the uh, if you know the uh, the Ninja Two. Ninja Two is only support four audio channels, for two two channels from and back. Uh, HDMI. The other two is from the uh, analog. For the uh, blade you can support 12 channels and back SDI audio and then two channels from the, um, uh, from the analog. It's been pretty, it's also exactly the same as a Ninja. So if you want to set, maybe you want to record maybe a particular channel, like okay, one, two, and maybe seven, eight. So just like maybe make sure your R button is actually in red. So that means you are actually recording. And then you can choose maybe uh, maybe uh, what channel you want to listen on your headphone. So when you're going out, you will see the, uh, when you see the channel is in blue or maybe uh, not blue, is in, in orange and green color. So that means you you are actually now recording that channel. And then it's enable or maybe a deep blue, that means it's disabled, you haven't record that channel. So it's that easy. So again, if you want to know more about the other functions or, or maybe the buttons on the blade, please refer to our review onto the Ninja 2.